Brooklyn ISD is the target of that investigation I talked about, and a civil rights complaint as well. The backstory today, families of students with special needs gathered to say that this is about more than just a single complaint. Our Caroline Vandergriff live in Allen to get us underway with our top story at 5 o'clock. Caroline. That's right, Doug. This particular investigation centers around a five-year-old boy with special needs. But these families say it points to a much larger problem in the district. They want federal, invest federal investigators to come down on Allen ISD and force some changes. He has every right to go to school here like everybody else. Five-year-old Nicholas needs support to get around since he was born missing his arm bones and knee joints. His mom says she explained his special needs to Allen ISD and she was excited for him to start pre-K. But Christina Cabral says she got pushback almost immediately. And they came out with this large plastic stroller wheelchair and a gate belt that they wanted to place on him all day long in order for him to be allowed in the building. And he was not going to be allowed to enter or exit walking as he normally does, as he does every single day. Cockrell says improper restraints could hurt Nicholas and tried convincing the district. She ultimately enlisted the help of Karen Meyer Cunningham, a nationally recognized special education advocate. Cunningham filed a complaint with the U.S. Department of Education's Office for Civil Rights, alleging the district is violating Nicholas's legal rights in multiple ways, including failing to maintain accessible entrances, classrooms, and playgrounds. And it is embarrassing how we treat children with educational differences, and it's going to change. If we have to do it one meeting at a time, one child at a time, we're going to change it because it's unacceptable. Families who met at the Allen ISD admin building today say Nicholas's case isn't unique. Allen needs to think it needs to be moved into this century. Allen is very behind the times when it comes to children with disabilities and special education. It's unclear just how long it will take federal investigators to look into the claims. Until then, Nicholas won't be attending an Allen ISD school. He should have the same access to curriculum as everybody else here. And this is going to stop. Allen ISD says the allegations in the federal complaint are without merit and all procedures were followed in accordance with the law. The district does plan to fully cooperate with the investigation and says it can't share any more details because of state and federal privacy laws. In Allen, I'm Caroline Vandergriff, CBS 11 News.